Do I look fat? Wait, hold on. Do I look fat first? Oh my is, God. is my stomach looking fat in the video? <laughs> Araba, why do you feel so strongly about this guy? Like, don't you feel he's taking up all of your energy? No, Angel, not at all. Jeremy and I, we're destined to be together. Hey, don't you know it's not a, a running zone? Sorry, beautiful, I arrived with caution. Uh. Ah, she's my niece, she's my daughter. Hi. Hello, good people. I commend you on your hard work for the Lord, but I can assure you that everyone here is saved. Thank you. Have a blessed day. ¿Qué qué significa esto, por favor? ¿Qué es eso de la cultura? ¿Qué es esto? ¿Verdad que sí? Will you marry me? Um, the family will have to approve it. Well, mom, he's white. The gods must really be crazy. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sasha, aka Miss Damon the Plug. Let the people know what your Instagram is. It's at, at Avenger Studios. Avenger Studios. You just go at Avenger Studios. At Avenger Studios. Yeah, at so I'll put it down below as well. Yeah. Um, how you can reach out to Avenger. Okay, so Avenger, tell the people a little bit about yourself, where you grew up, your name, why you mentioned his name, but... Yeah, okay, my, like you said, my actual, my real name is Avenger Dangwa. I was born on Thursday, so uh, as an African descent, that means I'm Kohl. That means you're what? K-O-W, Kohl. Kohl, okay. Yeah, so Avenger Kohl Dangwa. Nice. But anyway, you can call me Avenger Dangwa. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I preach the gospel, I, I write, I produce and direct movies as well. You know? Okay, alright, so how was your life growing up? Did you grow up in Canada or you grew up in Africa? Yeah, I grew up in Africa. Uh, Which part of Africa? Because Africa is huge. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm glad you brought it up. Yes. Africa is a continent, not a country like oh, most see? people think. I uh, grew up in the western uh, part of Africa, South Africa, a country called Ghana. Uh, it's uh, uh, it's funny, hold on, before you say anything, people always confuse when they ask me, where are you from? I'm like, Guyana. Oh, they go, Ghana? No, Guyana. They always confuse Guyana and Ghana. And that's Ghana. Yeah. You know, uh, it's a South Sahara region of uh, Africa, you know, uh, in a city called uh, Tema. Uh, just around about half an hour drive from the capital Accra. Oh. That's where I actually grew up. My primary education and where I have to. So, how was your life growing up? Would you say you were brought up with a golden school? Or was it rough? <laughs> it, it, it was rough. I mean, yeah. Uh, I never had things on a silver plan. Actually, I had to go through life in a very tough way. I came up. Facing hardships and difficulties. Uh, I, I guess they all went together to crystallize and recrystallize me to go to in this world. Honestly, it's, I think, I don't know, my opinion is that you appreciate life and the things you work hard for when you have a rough beginning because you can appreciate, you know how to get where these things come from and you feel more successful, like I can't believe like from the bottom, well, I won't say the bottom, but it was rough and then look where I'm at now, you know, it's like enough, it's a huge accomplishment, so. Okay. So we 
what? How did it come about? Like, I'm gonna start writing, I wanna produce, I wanna, you know, create content, create a, create a production. How did that come about? You know, uh, such things were actually not most. Um, but my background actually is science. Uh, all, all along, I thought I was going to be a medical. Oh, uh, I, I hate very, science. Yeah, no, I was very good at science. <laughs> you know. But uh, it so happened that after high school, you know, we yeah. had the opportunity to uh, do what you call national service. Oh. So we have to stay on for a year to serve the nation. Was that in Canada in, or? That was in Canada. Canada? Yeah. Oh, okay. So during that decision, that period of I call it hibernation right now. So we so happen to come together as a group of young artists and you know, add our talent, do something creative. So some guys could sing, others could you know, write scripts, others could act. You know, so dance, yeah. instead of choreographer. So we put our uh, rich natural talent together. And instead of you know, doing um, stage shows, and uh, one of us would write, one of us would produce the right, and then we ended up. Uh, on the national television, running uh, um, so opera. You know, that's where we realized that we make it and said, hey, let us develop it. We are both into the next level. So this actually brought us to an and we are able to develop uh, our potentials and get where we are now. So, so what are those uh, fellows right now? Oh, they are, it's just, just like I'm talking to you now. They are yeah. everywhere. We scatter around the globe, everybody. Okay. Uh, by the grace of God, each one of us is excelling. That's good. Area of calling, you know. That's great. Some are doctors, some are uh, engineers, lawyers, bishops, you know. Money, some, money. Yeah. <laughs> money making business. Yeah. So we are everywhere. Everybody is uh, at least we, we are making a heaven. That's great. Uh, so we have recently created a platform and to have well, over 50 of us on the platform was amazing. I mean, unbelievable. So you inspire, you inspire the young ones. Exactly. Yeah. That, you know what, any dreams? Yeah, you know what? Go for it. Exactly. You don't know where you're going to end up exactly. in a couple of years. You know what I mean? Exactly. Hard work pays off for sure. All right. So, if someone is interested in filming a movie or filming a podcast, filming a short film, what products or what items do you would recommend to start off with? Very interesting questions, I'm sure. I would. Um, Recommend three things. Okay. Well, well, I'll make it four. Okay. The first one is that you have to realize that you have uh, the flair for acting. What well, meaning that you should have the talent. And then uh, two, have an idea. You know. And uh, the third one is to have a, a you should have time. And the fourth, resources, the capital. Any two of these will make you successful. Just to expand on that. Yes. So I'll, yeah, I'll take it. Let them take one at a time. Okay. First of all, yes. have the flair for acting. I will have the flair for doing what you want to do. I mean, I believe that everyone was created with a unique talent, with okay. the unique potential. We are all not the same. So you pray, identify who you are, what mm -hmm. your talent are, and realize that nobody can take your place except yourself. Yes. So first of all, you have to harness and develop that skill, that potential, or that, um, that, that, yeah, you should be passionate about that passion. Mm -hmm. And then the second thing you should also consider is time. Now, if I have the passion to, for making a movie and I don't put in time, how can I do yeah, it? True. So time is essential, yeah. you know, and achieving this dream or making it a reality. Mm -hmm. You also need to have a form of um, the idea as to how you want it done. Somebody have the talent, may have the time, but the idea to put them together or, or the idea to create a content is not there. You know, so now let's say you have an idea, so you're able to create a content, mm -hmm. and this is where we are. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you need resources, capital, yes. and money to do it, buying equipment. Yeah. But notwithstanding, any two of these can make you successful. Mm -hmm. You may have two of them, somebody is able to also volunteer time yes. and put in the money. Yes. Uh, you may have the money, you may have uh, uh, the, the talent or the, the idea, but somebody needs to uh, also put in, uh, uh, you may have the money, mm -hmm. yeah, you have the idea, somebody needs to put in time. Yep. You may have the time and idea, somebody needs to put, put in money. money. Yeah. Yeah. So any two of these will make you successful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, let's say I 
out of the blue, I wake up one morning and say, I want to film a movie. What products do I need? Do I need a camera, of course? Of course, yeah. Um, what do you look for? So actors, actresses? Yeah. So when you're auditioning um, actors, what do you look for? You look for the drive, potential. Yeah. What yeah. else do you think you look for? Yeah, um, the best thing is to get a casting director okay. to help you do your cast. I mean, the cast is very important. Mm -hmm. Getting the, the, the right cast is about 75% of the whole thing, um, mm -hmm. of the whole production. Mm -hmm. If you have all the equipment, all the money, and you yeah. get the wrong cast, because you have a vision. A vision that you can you mm -hmm. need the character is that you yes. need. So you have created a character, you need a casting director to help you get yes. a real cast. You know, so and you want to make sure the person could see your vision. Exactly. That's how you want it to be portrayed. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then um, once you have the cast, then you have to look out for the crew. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so the cast and crew uh, need to pull out the right and then um, bring the vision or the idea to reality. And, of course, this is one area that people know. You need a real professional, somebody who can give you all the shots that you want. You know what I mean? Um, in movie making, you need to make um, or get your right shot. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the wide, the medium, and the close-up shots. These okay. are very, very important. And uh, part of the uh, technical career, they also have an editor. Mm -hmm. Oh, That's yeah. Like, for somebody can do good editing. You know? So, graphics and all those things. You need every, uh, each one of them plays a right hand. Yes. So after you gather your cast and gather your crew, then you bring them around the table and mm -hmm. share the vision with them how you want it to be done. Yeah. And of yeah. course, you're on your way. Yeah, editing takes a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. And like you mentioned, time. If you don't have the time, yeah. it's not going to come out the way you visualize it. Exactly. So, exactly. I agree with what you said. Thank you. All right, so tell me about your latest film, your last production that you did. Ride right from Africa. I enjoyed it. I was there at his premiere. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. that's a very uh, one challenging and interesting movie. You know, mm -hmm. That talks about interracial marriage. Mm -hmm. I took advantage of uh, the, di the, the very diverse community we live in Canada, yes, yes. Yeah. And then uh, we see the challenges we have. And mm -hmm. I try to resolve most of the conflict when it comes to interracial marriage. You know? mm -hmm. So that's where my bloodline actually came from. Okay. Uh, yeah. We were able to resolve it beautifully. Mm -hmm. you know, when we had to travel to Africa to uh, shoot some of the beautiful landscapes of Africa. Mm -hmm. and, uh, considering the fact that uh, the two main characters, uh, the lady, the princess, uh, or the lady, the bride, mm -hmm. you know, background is uh, the Ghanaian. The meaning of the movie is bring yeah. two different races together. That's right. And so what were some challenges? Like going, did you have to go back and forth or did you do one shot in Africa and then one shot in Canada? Like how did, how did that work out? Yeah, it, it was very challenging. Um, firstly, casting. Mm -hmm. You know, the, we had to change the lead, um, the, 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 the main character. That's the, the, uh, the, the guy, the Jeremy, I'll call him Jeremy. Mm -hmm. You know, with the, the group, supposedly, we have to change that main character three, three times. Oh my gosh. And uh, also, <laughs> the bride from Africa, the bride, the princess, mm -hmm. we have to also change her about four times. Oh wow. Uh, so uh, it was really tough getting yeah. the actual character. Be a little bit discouraging too. Very, very, because we have to go back and forth with the shoot. Yeah. You know? And uh, again, traveling to Africa, some of them traveling there for the first time. It's not cheap. Uh, it's, sure. it's not cheap, it's expensive. Yeah. Of course, course effective, but going there and being in a hotel with the Ghanaian artist, mm -hmm. you know, blending the two with, with all these differences uh, initially uh, was not that easy. But we managed to, you know, get our way through. Yeah, nice. pushing. Yeah, well, we don't pushing. stop. You know, it's going that, That's right. You know, the determination was there, and uh, yeah. I mean, nothing, nothing will stop me. That's good. You know, I love that mindset. I touch the plow, I look, I look forward, I don't look back. Love okay. it. So eventually, we're able to accomplish. So, what hotel did you stay in? in um, just in case I decide to go. Yeah. Or we, you decide to bring me, or you decide <laughs> to. <laughs> yeah, we went to the mountainous area in Africa, quite a and then 
Greater Washington Hotel called Highlander Hotel. Highlander, Highlander. Hotel. Shout out to Highlander Hotel Highlander. here if you're looking at the book review. That's free promo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Highlander. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the, 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 the administrator is uh, over there. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very nice Very hospitable. And that was in the city of. Yes, the city. It's about it's about um, about forty five minutes drive uh, away from the capital. Okay. Yeah. From Accra. Yeah. So if okay, say I want to go to um, where where you stay. What hotel? I mean, sorry. What airport do I go to? What's, yeah. the, what's the closest airport? Oh, it's, it's called the Kotoka International Airport. So what's the airport code? The airport code. Oh, it's um, ACC. 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 Okay. Like we have, we have the have the yes, Y Y Y Z. Y Y Z. I was ACC. Okay, so we're yeah. gonna, so we're gonna pack our bags from Y Y Z. I want to go to ACC. ACC. And then when we get to ACC, yeah. we have to take a terminal car. three. Terminal three. Yeah, yeah. Terminal three. That's an international <laughs> arrival. So okay. Like go through. Just follow the protocol and you'll be out. So yeah. from the airport ACC yeah. to what city? Accra. Accra and the ACC actually is in Accra. Accra, okay, so from yeah. Accra to get to Ghana, yeah, is it by car or another plane? Okay, let me fix this. <laughs> Accra is in Ghana. It's the okay, Accra is in Ghana. It's the capital. It's the capital, it's the capital, it's the capital it's city of Ghana. Ghana. Okay. So okay. once you have been already in Ghana, okay, and so we have a cab. So we have, have I mean, we can call a cab. Mm -hmm. or, or we call them. Um, the bus, the car, no, no, the taxi. No, 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 not the bus. I mean, like this kind of uh, guys that can Uber. Oh, yeah, like the Uber. Uber. And then they can uh, pick you up. Okay, so and how then far drop is you it? To the hotel. It's about 45 minutes. Yeah. Okay. You mean the hotel where we were? Yeah, so yeah, the airport. 45, 45 minutes. About 45 minutes. Right? 45 yeah. minutes. Okay. Every, I go to the mountains. It's a very, it's a very beautiful. You enjoy, mm. you love the landscape. It's beautiful. actually um, yeah. a trip that I did see uh, on social media. Yeah. It's, um, a Soka trip that's going to Accra, Accra okay. next year in January. Oh wow, that's good. Yeah, so I'll, that's what I'm asking you. So I know, I know what to expect. Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. Just in case I do go. Yeah, yeah. The people, no, I mean, like, <laughs> honestly, it's, it's a lovely place. The people yeah. living in Ghana, I mean, Ghanaians are naturally extremely hospitable people. I mean, you will, you will never regret paying yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I promise. It's a little paradise. Uh, so how were, how were the Canadians reacting to like when they got there, how, how was their reaction? And the weather was very warm. I mean, yeah. Of course, I mean, they're yeah, coming from a very cold, temperate oh, region. Oh, yeah, of course. Extremely hot. Yes. You know, tropical mm -hmm. region. You know, we expect that. Yeah. That, you know, to uh, just breathe it. I mean, yeah. face is square. You know, that's how it is. I mean, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so we have to weather it. Then. Well, okay. So when you were down there filming, what are the procedures? Like, did you have to get consent from like, what is it, the oh, mayor yes. or what, what, what do you have to Yeah, there? because actually most most of us at the time were Canadian like uh, of uh, foreign artists mm -hmm. in Ghana. We had the opportunity to pay a text call to the minister of, uh, the deputy minister of uh, foreign affairs. Okay. And it was, it was uh, quite an experience. So how long? Like, do you have to like say, okay, you're. Oh, no, it was sorry. The minister of tourism. Okay. The deputy minister of tourism and the culture. That was okay. where we were in the office. Yeah. So did you have to submit paperwork ahead of time? Oh say, yes. Okay. So how long does that take? Paperwork. Yeah, we had we had representatives there. Mm -hmm. So wait, it's a collab, right? So, okay. Yeah, so okay. they had put all the documents together, the permits and everything. To allow you to film exactly. in, their, in their country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, who are the national television of the news? Mm -hmm. They knew where it came. Okay. You know, so so you felt like a celebrity? Uh, <laughs> pretty much. Pretty yeah, much. Up and coming. Yes, know. yeah. yeah Consider the fact that most of my artists were new cream of artists mm -hmm. that were coming up. So, yeah. Felt nice, felt warm, welcome. Yeah, exactly. That's but the true. local artists, some were actually famous artists. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, yeah. Like the David Doctor, mm -hmm. um, who is now I guess the, uh, I guess the president of the Ghana Football. Oh wow! Uh, nice. uh, he was in your movie. That was my movie. He, oh, he nice. played the role of um, the princess. Uh, that. Oh, okay. So I gotta, I gotta look at that movie again. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Alright. So how long did it take you to produce that? Film? Like, did you have to like honestly? Mm -hmm. It took me a long time. It took me three years. 
Three years. Three years. Yeah. Because I have to finance it all by myself. The package, everything. So you paid all the actors, all the actresses. You paid all the flight, everything. Everything. Oh yeah. wow. Three years and everything. That's so, crazy. Yeah, that's that's. I need to really get myself well prepared. Wow. Storyline, and it takes a while, you know. If if yeah. it doesn't happen, uh, strong backers or yeah. funding to do it, yeah, it's, you have to really yeah. to do it. Uh, uh, it took me a while. I'm so shocked. Three years. Yeah, three years. That's yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. If, if someone came up to me, well, if I wanted to do a movie or something, and then someone told me it'll take three years, I'm like, what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. but, but the actual shoot here in Canada was uh, a bit. 10 days. And Just then, 10 days? 10 days. The actual she could have a schedule. Mm -hmm. then, uh, the preparation, you know, getting the cast, getting the equipment, I and mean, getting uh, the crew, uh, the locations, you know, all these, and then taking two weeks of uh, workshop, preparing them, and mm -hmm. changing the cast yeah. uh, four times, and back and forth. And it took a while. I mean, all these, and then gathering the, the funds, the resources, mm -hmm. you know, putting the money, every day girl dying, every night. Time and the country yeah. at the time. You know, so, all these actually uh, prolong the whole thing. But actual shoot was 10 days here. So, 10 days in Canada? Yeah. yeah. And then, how many days? And then, and then, and then uh, 14 days uh, in, in, in Africa. Africa. Yeah. So, pretty much like a month. So, 20 years. And then, a month for yeah. actual filming. For everything. Yeah. Then, we come to the editing mm -hmm. bench. Yeah, yeah, it takes a, even it takes like a, a 30 minute video. It takes a while. It takes a yeah. like, um, If you just constantly do it, it'll probably just take a day. Yeah. But if you have to like do all the stuff in between, yeah. it can take a while. Yeah. yeah. The eventually. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, so what's your next what's your next production? What's your next one? Yeah. Um right now, what my my next production actually is based on uh, human trafficking. Human trafficking? Human trafficking. That's pretty big right now. It's huge. And yeah. I have, um, we would have started a long time, you know, with the comic. Mm -hmm. yeah, we have yeah, cast in Europe, uh, to precise precise Germany. Mm -hmm. And then we have cast in America, US, okay. Canada, and also in Ghana. So it's wow. quite a It involves a lot of traveling and yeah. a lot of work. So we, we did a cast. Uh, we had a cast in Ghana. Supposed to do in Canada and the US. And then you know. So, all my actors, all my actresses, do a casting call. If you think, yeah, <laughs> and, and if you think you're, you know, you could be a potential feature actor or actress, you get them up, right? Yeah. And then we just keep it up in this course and pray yeah, that uh, this okay. call to will soon pass so okay. we can uh, have that liberty. So how long do you think this is going to take? Um, so the last one was three years. What do you predict? No, this, uh, for this, we are ready. To oh, go. you're ready? Yeah, as, as, as soon as we realize that travel restrictions are in this time, we realize that people can travel, commute. Yes. Then I guess we'll be ready to go. Okay. Uh, right, right now, everything is on hold. I know, messes that we want to So, uh, So whilst we are waiting for this project, we are planning a television series. Oh, uh, so, nice. Uh, which, I guess that we can have a web series. Mm. Um, That's nice. And you have a YouTube channel as well, right? I do. Okay. Yeah. Know. What's your YouTube channel? Aven <laughs> it's Avenger Dumb One. Just go Avenger Dumb One. A V E N G R. And uh, before it was Avenger Studios. I said Avenger, oh, you changed it. That's Avenger Dumb One Studios. Avenger Dumb One Studios. So D U. D A D A N Q U A H Studios. Avenger Dan Studios. Okay. And then you can see some of my work. So your movie is you can currently view his movies on YouTube. Have you ever thought about switching out to Netflix? Yeah, my my, my movie is not actually uploaded on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's just the exit that we the promos. Okay. The exit yeah, so Trailers, you know, the oh, okay. actual movies all on YouTube. Oh, it's not on YouTube. No, it wasn't on YouTube before. No, 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 no,
I'm, I'm thinking of uploading it back now. Mm. Also, like I said, considering bringing it to Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this is what now everything seems virtual. Everything seems to be different. Mm -hmm. So we're looking into that. And uh, in the future, we'll come up with it. Yeah. The reason why I asked you, because I see on Netflix, they do have like a. Um, uh, the genre, they do have African as a genre, yeah. and they have their sitcoms, they have their movies, and I'm like, okay, maybe that's like that's fitting for you. You should yeah. definitely contact them and see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've started there, and then we've mm -hmm. from there. Okay, great. Yeah, we made an initiative, so we've been trying. Um, uh, probably with this right Africa and other um, projects, we'll be going to Netflix. That's good. And we'll also make use of our okay. major platforms, social media platforms. This is, this, this is the new one. I know, yeah. like the new normal. Yeah. So what is um, some advice you could give someone that's now started in this field? Well, once you identify who you are as an artist, director, producer, then uh, there are two things. One, you have to use that skill, that talent, you know, uh, to serve humanity and God. And uh, you, just got get up and do it. Just do it. Just do it. So many people, that's their inspiration. They <laughs> just do it. Just get like up. he said the best. <laughs> do just do it. No, that's all yeah. I can say. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Thank you for allowing me to interview you. You know, get more info on what you do and how you do it. So once again guys, you can definitely check out Avenger on Instagram at Avenger Studios. Avenger Studios. And then I'll also leave the link down below, comment down below if you guys have um, and then over to Avengers page. Um, any more questions you'd like me to ask Avenger, maybe you can go part two. Um, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Thank you guys for tuning in. Yeah, my last advice to the general public, especially the youth is that I want you to aspire to inspire before you inspire. Oh, I like that. I should that to a t-shirt. <laughs> I like that. Say, I want to say it. Say it again. <laughs> aspire. This goes to the youth especially. Mm -hmm. I encourage you to aspire to inspire before you expire. Love that.